it's Raziel Kane and I have no idea what I'm doing in front of the camera. My son kept me up because he's been coughing all night, so we have about three hours of sleep. I just finished my interview with Michael Bell, so depending when I decide to air this, it could have been yesterday or three months ago. But um, I don't know, I feel like doing some decals and as you can see, this size swipe head is blue. So are the ends because um, I don't even know why I'm doing this. The um, I saw the decals on toyhags.com to transform uh, Siege Sideswipe into a GoBot G2 Optimus Prime. And I said, why not? I mean, is that what it, yeah, G, it doesn't say G2, it says GS GoBot Optimus Prime. I don't know, I'm, I'm not that versed. I actually had to check with my buddy uh, input from his two channels, the Tory Reviews and Stop Motion and uh, Customs. And uh, I asked him, like, is this a legit thing? Because he knows everything. And uh, he said, yeah, man, that's totally a, uh, a character that was done based on a GoBot when Takara Tomi bought uh, Tonka or something like that. And uh, I just look at the decals and the images that they had on Toy Hacks and it looked really good. And yeah, I didn't know what to do with my extra uh, Sideswipe because I have the Kingdom one who is up here somewhere and uh, I was like okay why not uh, let's give it a shot so um, I have I'm like I said I'm super tired so I just want to do something relaxing so uh, let's uh, shoot some uh, videos and uh, do some toy hacks and uh, but before I do that I just want to remind you to check out my voice acting playlist the main feature of my channel or the interview playlist which is something that I'm still you know completely amazed that I been able to pull that up three times with absolute legends and uh, also uh, wait until the end of the video to check out your 10% uh, discount code for DJC collectibles my sponsor um, so yeah I guess I am tired because I have no idea what I'm saying and uh, so let's just not waste any more time and uh, let's get on with uh, the review or the decals or something Okay, so basically, um, the reason why he's here is that I bought this guy just to do the head swap. And thanks to Fire Talks, I've been able to pull that off. Because basically, you have to take a, um, a screwdriver. I mean, he used a whole press, a hydraulic press, or, uh, and it worked really good. And But what uh, you have to do is somehow wedge this, uh, this character uh, on its head. Uh, or have somebody else uh, hold it really tight, but it, you can't move and then you take a flat um, Screwdriver like a thin one put it here and whack on it with a hammer But you have to be careful because this is all clear plastic both on him and side swipe So I did the head swap the head swap uh, and the hands as well. The hands were easier to do and um, Yeah, we um, fire Tux was trying to remove this pin here as well but uh, he told me later, uh, screw that pin, it's uh, the way it's uh, molded into the character, uh, the mold, it's not, uh, it's not easy to pull off. So let's remove him because I'm not going to use him anymore. But I do have this <laughs> kind of weird looking uh, sideswipe right now. So I guess I should call him Optimus Prime because that's who he's going to become. So you see the same head sculpt we're familiar with. And actually he's a little scuffed on the side here so hopefully maybe there's a decal for that but I, it's pretty tiny uh, but it's a standard side swipe uh, what he does come the kit comes with this uh, injection mold uh, axe and it looks actually really good and uh, toy hacks knows this stuff because it's a good fit you press down it clips in you can still rotate it it's really tight really good I like that and it's so smooth to the touch and then you have these decal you have two sheets this one on foil which man there's a lot of detail 
decals and for a fairly decent price too i was really uh amazed with this so this is going to be mostly car mode i'm guessing and there's this window so it's gonna sh change the whole window like it's gonna cover this and you're gonna have just a little line that's gonna show i mean the pictures look really good and i hope i can do it honors so without further delay let's just go ahead and apply the decals voila and we're gonna go right now with the french word of the day fantastic which means fantastic so this is an easy one but the best description for this set is fantastic it really changes up sideswipe into a an optimus although the faceplate really doesn't do it for me but uh, let's just take a look at what's left there's uh, another option here for the chest instead of the g2 logo and those two line two well, you know blue things uh there's the transformer thing it looks good uh, but I just prefer to break all the red with uh, some uh, black uh, or actually it's not really black it's kind of a brownish thing um, or it's just my eyes playing tricks on me again uh, and I do have uh, two uh, leftovers for uh, the black joint uh, you'll see more in car mode and uh, the four arms decal I have an extra one and then now on this one uh, instead of the G2 logos you can go with the uh, the G1 logos uh, but I you know felt since he had a big one here like that might as well go uh, authentic and uh, you have a couple of face decals um, are extra you can you know there's an ex two of each so two silvers two blue two it looks black on camera but when you look at it it's more like a I don't know like a really dark brown but it, it's I like that they give you uh, option. I went with the silver one, but you'll see it looks kind of more like a goatee. Uh, this is extra decals for the forehead. And oh yeah, you have uh, some extra wheel covers uh, just in case, uh, you know, you lose one. So yeah, and now looking at Optimus, you have, um, okay, so you can, if you don't switch the head, they give you decals so there you can see uh, where they, the the light reflex where I've applied them um, let's turn it so you have this part this part here and here so you have nothing in the back uh, so if you have you leave your black head you still get some blue uh, on both sides so that's pretty good and then the faceplate looks uh, I kind of misaligned it, but it, it gives him more of a goatee look. So maybe I should have went with the blue. I'm going to have to fix that. So thank God that there's a, an extra uh, decal for that. I'll be able to fix his face a little bit. And you can see that there's a problem with my eye. Uh, the uh, left one is uh, scratched and there's no decals on this set for eyes. So it kind of gives him a you feel uh, kind of odd but anyway um, you have the G2 logos on the shoulders and um, it's quite easy to spot that there's one uh, to go around the blast effect you have the forearms decals and then you have one decal that goes completely around uh, I'm gonna have to warm it up again uh, just to clear out some bubbles make it stick more so you have this a little uh, I don't know vent hole here a little grill and then you have one that goes under all around the pegboard and on oh yeah the hand if you don't switch the to the blue hands I still apply the decals because I think it, it's good uh, to have a little light reflection but if you uh, you have the black hand you still have two decals here and then on top of that you have the G2 logo so I guess that's optional um, you have like the chest decal and then the light a new decal here at the belt and then this whole section here I guess those are more abs and this is the belt and then the legs the legs are really good like that gold really you know it covers most of the battle uh, damage like you still have some on the feet and the joint here uh, they could have added something here but I think just this whole part here looks really good like it's very very uh, different so I, I like it. I really like it. 
And then, what? Do, uh, well, the hack, the axe, which I've shown earlier, looks really good. Uh, all the pictures show not to use this anymore. So, I don't know, I'll add it somewhere else. What else do we have? Well, you can see the back, but that's gonna... Actually, you know, maybe I'll say it twice, but this was kind of hard to apply. Like, you have to do this one here first, and then apply this one. And you can see, like, there's a slight, slight gap. So, maybe... I don't know. I don't think I could have done much better, but... And then the back of the legs, but that's gonna show a lot better in the um, alt mode. So, um, 10 out of 10, I love this set. I didn't know anything about the character, I still don't. Uh, but I look at the original pictures, and yeah, it's uh, it's superb idea by Toy Hacks. So now let's transform him to alt mode and see what that looks like. So this is the classic sideswipe mode we've come to love uh, eight or nine times at this point, including the Kingdom remote. But I like this mode a lot because it's a fantastic car. It's a Cybertronian race car or sports car, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, a lot of people have been complaining about the battle damage, but I don't mind. I don't mind. Uh, you know, chrome wheels, uh, nice details. You know. This window is going to disappear, so we're not going to see all that. Uh, well, I mean, compared to a lot of other robots, there's not that many robot junk there. It's just a plate, so, you know, it looks good. So without further delay, I'm going to do a little toy hack thing. Boom. Look at that. I mean, this is not Sideswipe. I mean, it's a... Okay, it doesn't scream Optimus, but it does scream G2 Optimus. So, but it does scream Cobot G2 Optimus. So this is a completely different paint job on this car and it looks absolutely amazing. The uh, the wheels, first off, uh, get uh, a lot of uh, little decals. I mean, this is six decals per wheel. I'm gonna have to warm them up because uh, they tend to move a little bit even after application. Uh, you have a cover for the joint, which is really, really neat. Um, but when you transform sometimes uh, this one here tends to move a little bit so we're gonna have, I don't know super glue it uh, the front end looks really good with the, uh, the gold highlight and the G2 logo the window looks fantastic I mean wow it, it's hard to apply but it's absolutely worth it it really breaks that big black translucent thing we had uh, I love it. And then you have some highlights here uh, on the... Uh, they were hard to detach from the... Because there's... Keep knocking the camera. I hate that. The uh, There's a little fin here. And so the decal goes around it. But this part to detach from the sheet was hard. So just be careful not to rip uh, the decal. You have this superb highlight when you properly align it. That blue and black here really breaks all the red. It looks really good. And then you have the back end with the tail lights and the uh, oh, oh, sticker residue. Uh, and then you have all that circuitry here. Looks really good. And did I miss anything? Well, oh, look. I think the fact that we've added uh, these decals here on the robot and this and this. It breaks out the the fact that you, th there's arms and robot parts. I think it cleans up better. And I totally forgot to show this in robot mode. You have the matrix here. So that's really neat that they added that decal. And then the legs, you know, it's, it makes for a good skid plate, I guess. So I like it. Fantastic set. Honestly, looks really good. I don't usually do side-by-sides on toy hacks, but I just want to do one with Kingdom Sideswipe. Just, I know it's not the same mold, but they had the same paint scheme. So I think it's, you can see where toy hacks, you know, they enhance the joint. Uh, the window is uh, different, the back end. I mean, this, they had the same kind of wheel and uh, you can see the difference in the wheel. Uh, it's really, uh, really nicely enhanced. So, yeah. It was just a little uh, side-by-side. 
to give you an idea of the amount of difference that uh, we're getting with this set. So I'm going to put him back in robot mode and give you my final thoughts. And here is Optimus ready to join his fellow Lambros to be able to uh, join the fight um, on the road. And I think this is a good money shot. I think it's cool that uh, you know we're now able to have two different characters uh, from uh, from this uh, for a uh, actually not that expensive. I think he's either a ten or a fifteen dollar set. Can't recall right now, but it's not expensive for the amount of decals you're getting. Plus, you get the axe. Uh, which is fantastic. So I think that's just great. Uh, Toy Hacks really nailed it on this one. It gives us a brand new figure instead of having tons of people going online selling their Siege Sideswipe because they only want uh, one version. Uh, I was thinking about doing that and then I saw this decal set and I was like, okay, I'm, I know nothing about this, but I'm just going to do it. So, And I'm, I'm happy I did. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those, and remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care!